Welcome, in front of me is an Infinix H20i and today I will show you how you can go through the setup process of this phone. So when you boot it up for the very first time, you should be presented with this screen right over here, hopefully in a different language for you. Uh, for me, it's sele selecting my, I guess, uh, locational uh, language, which is Polish. So I'm gonna select English instead, and then I can go to the next page, which allows me to choose my region. It's selected correctly, so I'm just gonna go to the next page anyway. And this will allow me to connect to a network. Now you can connect to either a Wi-Fi or use your SIM card and connect to a mobile network. And uh, reasons you might want to do this are just being able to log into your Google account and having your d date and time set automatically by just internet. Now, if you don't care for any of those, you can absolutely skip this and completely disregard that message. Do have some instructions, whatever. Next page, terms of use, uh, select that you have uh, agreed to them. You can deselect the first option, which is join user experience improvement programs, which is selected by default but not uh, required. And then this will take us to the next page, which is Google Services. Now we have three different ones. We have location scanning and sending user and diagnostic data. Now, if you don't want some of them, you can turn them off. And if you're wondering what they do, you can tap on the drop down and have a bit more of an extensive uh, explanation of what this section does. From there, select accept at the bottom, where you will have the option to sign in to your Infinix ID. Now, I have no idea what Infinix uh, ID provides, so I may only assume that it's trying to copy uh, things like Apple or Samsung. So it might give you some kind of like access to their specific applications. Uh, but you also have the option to log in through Google right here at the bottom. Though keep in mind, for me, I didn't actually log into my network, so it would tell me to it will backtrack me and tell me to log in there anyway. And as you can see, it gives me the pop-up service or network is unavailable. So I'm just gonna select skip. And this will then give me the option to select a screen lock. Now we have three different methods of providing protection to our device. One is fingerprint, the other one is face recognition, and the third one would be pin pattern or password. Now, if you're planning to use any of the first two, fingerprint or face recognition, or both of them, you will always be required to select a password. And the reason for that is if something would happen with your face or your finger, then you would lose access to your device. And that would leave you with the physical way of unlocking the device through pin pattern or password, which uh, has no like way of changing for instance, if something happens to you. Now, obviously you don't have to protect your device, so you can skip this if you don't want to do anything of that. Now, this will then take us to options for transferring data. This uses a ShareX application, which you would need to download on another device, uh, like your old one, and then grant access to all whatever it needs, and you can scan the QR code that this phone will show, and this will allow you to, from there, select every application and all the data that you want to move over to this device from an old one. And it's pretty easy to use once you grant all the access that it needs. And also pretty fast because it creates a hotspot between two devices, so it will send the data quite quickly. I'm going to be skipping it and setting it up as new which from there takes me to desktop style. So this just gives us two options, either classic or large folders. Large folders has this kind of like Apple-like look to it, where the folders that creates take up four tiles instead of the one that normally you would see. And you can kind of see it right here and it's kind of like grayish. We have four different folders and all of them take uh, four tiles each, which is normally a single folder. It takes a single tile and it will have like bunch of visible applications, I think like four or more in there. So yeah. And then we're having our phone uh, getting ready. Not really sure what this is about. So getting your phone ready and we have back or skip. Um, I guess skip getting my phone ready. I'm not sure. And we can just click on the green arrow and this should take us to the home screen. So it's launching our launcher. And there we go. So anyway, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.